This morning, members of the lay community came to pay tribute to a great and humble man. For the last 30 years, he was the face of the lay business community. Many knew him as the president of the lay chamber of commerce. But his life was much more colorful. In 1964, Alan McClay came to Papua New Guinea as a 19-year-old cadet patrol officer. He served in Simbu, East New Britain, Medang and Bougainville. Alan was born in Melbourne, Victoria in 1945 and from early on was a keen sportsman, playing representative water polo and rugby union. His life as a patrol officer was intertwined with one of Papua New Guinea's first patrol officers, Sir Jerry Nalau. Prior to independence, a land dispute in East New Britain that could have turned bloody amidst anti-colonial sentiments was settled by a team of colonial officers led by a young Jerry Nalau and Alan McClay. There have been bloodshed. And because of these young people, their way they work around us day and night, and then we we went to Little known stories of his bravery in the highlands where he ended tribal fights without bloodshed were recounted. His humor told in short anecdotes by his two children. During independence, with Jerry Nalau in charge of Simbu, Alan McClay was assigned as the interpreter for Prince Charles who came to officiate. Wife Nellie told those present her husband was not only a partner but a friend and a mentor. And even in the final days of his life, friends said he continued to worry about the state of the country he helped build. Scott Whitey, National MTV News, Leigh.